Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. As you can see in the title, no, I am not joking. I want to join the 2025 Karting League season at K1, however, there's one problem. I don't race at K1. So if you've seen my channel recently, I've been posting karting videos, however, the karting videos I've been posting are not at K1. They're at NOLA Motorsport Park, which isn't very far from my house, hence why I go there more often. The K1 speed is a lot farther, but they offer league races, or at least they offer them more casually, it's easier to enter into them. So with that being said, I really want to enter them. I'm trying to join the 2025 season, it's not very far, we're currently in October and the new season I believe starts on the first month of the new year, which is January. So few problems with that. The One, I don't normally race electric carts. Like I said, the last time I've raced electric carts was over five years ago in Texas. So I need to get used to electric carts. Two, again, I haven't raced that K1 in over five years, so I need to get used to their tracks, their rules, and everything that revolves around their seasons. So what better way to do that than to go race there? So I went on a Wednesday, which ended up working out perfectly because apparently Wednesdays weren't that busy or aren't that busy at K1. I went like around three o'clock and it was absolutely empty. Uh, they had a small corporate party in there, but other than that, I was the only person there for an arrive and drive. So I pretty much had the whole track to myself, which for a video, most people think that's kind of boring. But in my case, as someone who just wanted to learn the track and learn the environment of K1, that was honestly best case scenario. So as you can tell here, the employee is just going over the rules, which they are very thorough with, and not before long, we were in the cart. That's cool. Ready? So after getting everything adjusted for myself in terms of my seating position, we were away for our parade lap. Now, before actually getting in the cart, I was looking around at the circuit, trying to kind of imagine in my head what would be the best lines to take, but that was very quickly blown out of the window when they finally sent the cart to 100% because these things are way quicker than I remember. Uh, like I said, over five years, that is a very long time, so clearly I forgot everything when it came to these carts. They are way quicker than I met. I, I just underestimated the cart, plain and simple. So honestly, the entire first practice was just me learning how to handle this cart. Uh, because, yeah, even though the circuit isn't very top in... Um, like top end built, I guess you can say. Obviously, that's not the right term, but there's not a, you're not going to hit a lot of top end on this circuit. But that works perfectly for this cart because electric carts don't have crazy top end anyway. They thrive in quick acceleration, and that's all this circuit is is quick acceleration. So. As y'all probably noticed already there in the first sector, I was braking going into turn one and that was already destroying my lap time for the rest of the circuit. This is a very flow heavy circuit. Like if you do not have your line perfect, it's going to tell in the lap time. And this was actually a tip that one of the employees was telling me afterwards, which shout out to him. I really regret not grabbing his name because dude was super chill and gave me such a big tip after my first practice to where he helped me shave almost an entire second just in between my first and second practice. So shout out to him. I don't know. He's probably not going to see this video, but still shout out to you, man, because that was clutch. But it did create another problem, which I will explain here in a second.
going back into the video, I figured just to give you guys a few laps of just uninterrupted kind of ASMR, I guess. I don't know. But regardless, I start getting more confident in certain areas, but I'm still breaking on that sector one, turn one, and it's killing my time. Uh, obviously, I don't know it at this moment. Honestly, I thought I was doing fairly good, which apparently I was for a first timer, but as far as league pace, at the time of this, you know, in, in my first practice, I was two seconds off league pace. And again, that is what the employee tells me after this practice, uh, along with that apparently I can't record. Apparently, I don't know if it's all K1s or if it was just this one, but apparently they have a rule where you can't record with your personal cameras. Uh, but he was telling me for league races, uh, they do supply cameras for those who want to record this ra their races, which, I don't know, I kind of understand it, but at the same time, that kind of sucks, um, because their cameras don't look very high end um they kind of look just like basic like camcorders but that's besides the point um <laughs> as you see uh you know me getting more aggressive i actually did bump I, I bumped the walls a few more times um in my second practice which uh I mean, who knows? I maybe could have got a faster time if I would have been more clean. But again, it was my first time. I was just trying to feel it out. And, uh, I mean, yeah, I mean, apparently there seems to be some promise. Uh, definitely got to bring my gloves next time. My wrists were killing me uh, just after that one practice. So I definitely should have brought my gloves, but I didn't think it was going to be that serious. Um, but once again, underestimated the electric cart. But with this video coming to an end, uh, yeah, so my average time was, or er, well, in my first practice was like a 22 second. Um, however, with the tip that the employee ends up giving me, which was, which basically was to not break going into turn one. He said to lift, but not to break, and that drastically brought my time down. Uh, I started, I instantly started running 21s, so I was still one second off the league pace however again you know i was bumping the wall a little bit more because with that tip that he gave me obviously i was way faster through turn one but then that started creating issues for the slight uh s turns going into turn two because now i was carrying way too much speed and i just didn't figure out how to handle the back section of the course so hopefully next time when i go practice uh i can figure that out it does suck though because like i just said it, apparently i'm not gonna like right here the employee was asking me uh if i was recording because he was saying his manager told him that i can't be recording. that's basically what that conversation was um so yeah so unfortunately i might not be able to record my future practices there until i joined the league because he was saying that it's only during the league races where they allow people to record or things to be recorded, whatever. Um, but yeah, so here was the times. So my first practice session, my best time was a 22.3. And that was roughly about the average was 23s, 22s, as you can see, especially later on in the laps, like lap 7, 8, 9. I was pretty much in that 23 to 22 second range per lap but then after the employee giving me the tip on how to handle turn one and being able to carry way more speed and uh through that first sector uh it dropped my time down by almost a whole second pushed me down to a 21.7 which is exactly one second off of the league time because they were telling me that the average lap for a league race was about 20.7 seconds so per exactly one second off which i believe i can i can probably shave another second obviously with some more practice um hopefully i can and hopefully you know who knows you know it, it'd be nice to be able to keep up with the league pace but it would also be cool to have a shot at possibly you know winning some races and you know see where that takes me but with that being said, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Uh, if y'all did, please make sure to subscribe because there's definitely more videos like this coming in the future. 
uh, make sure to leave a like because that helps me out a lot. Comment down below what y'all think, by the way. Um, you know, if y'all enjoy these carding videos or if y'all prefer some other kind of videos, um, I'll take it into consideration, you know, um, because this is something that I like to do. I've always wanted to do. So, I mean, I am going to pursue it nonetheless. But, um, yeah. With all that being said, though, I hope to see y'all in the next video. Peace.